Talk by Mike Bartlett. I'm Mary Twominen and I'm playing W. In the course of reading and rehearsing the play, did you find yourself questioning the way you label yourself or the way you label others? And did that inform some of the choices you made in this role? Well, I, um, I've had like a long, complicated relationship with my own femininity. And um, it's funny to be in this position with being the other woman um, with John Jarbo playing the man because I've actually been in the reverse relationship with John on stage many times. Five times I've been a man opposite him and three of those times he was playing a woman. So we're off and once we were married. Um, so, so it's been the opposite so many times. So the part where he says, you know, I can be pretty feminine too. Um, and, and that we're, we're in some ways com competing types of womanhood is really interesting. Um, I, uh, labeling myself as a woman has been like a long journey in my life um, and that's sort of part of what's exciting about the play is to be in a character that that's very comfortable with that uh, what attracted you to audition for this character um well as I say W is really comfortable with being a woman and also uh, is comfortable with with things. Is comfortable with throwing herself at a gay man, which is something I would never do, ever. Um, I think that's so gauche, but she's able to do it, and she's very comfortable and excited by her own femininity. She's really proud of her uterus, um, all sorts of things that that I don't relate to in life. So it's a it's a cool challenge to be that comfortable with womanhood. In a character. Cool. If you want audience, if you wanted audiences to walk away with one thought after curtain, what would it be? I think, you know, uh, I think the play, you know, ostensibly is about sexuality and sexual orientation, and it's and it is true that, you know, it's been however many sixty, seventy years since since Kinsey, and we're still uncomfortable with looking at sexuality on a continuum. So there's that. But I think actually a lot of what the, the interesting parts of the play have to do with power, how power plays out in relationships, and how different gender roles can be used to control people, and the tools that you can take on along with your gender role to uh, to manipulate or subjugate your partner. All right, what has been your favorite cock pun thus far? I'm still into Cocktober. Cocktober. Cocktoberfest is still the best. <laughs> um, and I think you might have answered this question a little bit, but uh, what drew you to this role and this script? The script is very interesting because of the lack of stage directions, because of the sparseness of it and because of the demands it makes for, uh, for thinking non-literally and uh, the sort of chessboard it sets up of um, the staging being dictated by power relationships rather than literally, uh, rather than the rules of kitchen sink where I, I move stage right because I need to get a cup of coffee. Um, instead, all of those things are stripped away and where we move is dictated by um, how much power we have, who, where the alliances are, where the betrayals are, and uh, and it's this uh, we have a, like a hexagonal chessboard going on, which is really fascinating.